Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at problems with expanding appearances in Illustrator. Now this is an ongoing issue. I'm finding all sorts of situations in which Illustrator's expand appearance tool works differently to what you might expect or it works differently with different things. So let's have a look at this document that I pre-prepared. What I've done is I've created a circle here and I've applied a transformation to it. Now the circle itself has a stroke on the outside. So when I select the circle and go to the stroke panel, you'll see here that outside has been selected. This one has a stroke that's set to inside. So here it is, inside is selected. And this one has its stroke set to center. So it's this option here, align stroke to center. Now what I did having created these transformations is I made each of these into a brush and I applied the brush to these lines. And we're going to step through this because this is an eye opener where Illustrator is behaving differently depending on how you align the stroke on a shape. And it's also going to be the case inside brushes. So you need to know what's going on. I'm going to select this outside one. So I'm going to click on the shape here. You can see that we've got a stroke and no fill. I'll choose object and expand appearance. Immediately you'll see that we no longer have stroke shapes. These shapes are not stroke, they're actually filled. So these are individual compound paths that are filled shapes. Not probably what you would expect to have happened. Certainly not what I expected or wanted in the situation where I discovered this problem. Let's have a look at the situation with inside. Again, object, expand appearance. Again, same situation. We now have filled shapes. So we've got compound shapes. These are just like donuts and there is no stroke on them. Let's have a look now at center because this is where things are very, very different. Object, expand appearance. Here we end up with a whole series of circles, all of which are stroked. So only when you select center as your stroke alignment option, will you, when you expand a transformation, end up with a series of circles exactly the same as the original. If you use inside or outside, you're going to get compound shapes. And the result, if you need to be working with a shape that has a stroke around it and not a compound path, is going to be very, very different. So you need to know this. Now the situation when we look at these used as brushes is identical. So this one has a stroke on the outside. When we go to object expand appearance, watch over here and you'll see that we end up with filled shapes. The same is going to happen when we have the stroke aligned to the inside and when we have the stroke aligned to the center, when we expand this brush, well, we get a series of circles, well, sort of circles because they're applied as a brush, but this time they're shapes that have a stroke around them and they are not filled objects. So this can bite you in unusual circumstances when you go to do something, you think you're going to get this result here and you end up with this result and steps further along are not going to work because you're working with filled shapes. If that's the case, you now know what you need to do. You need to move your strokes to the center and then things are going to work out just fine. Now you might be wondering if there's a solution for these brushes. Say you have a brush that you really, really like and it's behaving like this brush did here. You may think that you could drag the brush out of the brushes panel and make changes to it. Unfortunately, you can't. Let's go to this brush. It's the outside brush, so I'm just going to drag it out. Now let's go to the layers panel because we're going to have to navigate through the layers panel to see what's inside this brush. So this is the brush group. So I'm just going to continue through and try and locate one of the circles here. So I'm going inside this group, inside this clipping group. There's a group here and here is the circle that is in use in this brush. And you can see that it is a compound path. So the process of dragging this series of circles into the brushes palette and creating a brush from it actually ended up expanding that shape. And so the expansion's already taken place. So you can't undo the situation. You're going to be stuck with a brush that is set up that way and you can't edit it as you might think that you would be able to. With these shapes, you could edit it. Once you've done your transformation, you can go back and edit it. Let me just show you how you would do that. So let's go and make a circle here. 
we're going to put the stroke in the wrong place. So I'm going to align it to the inside, for example. Then I'll do my transformation, effect it, distort and transform, and then transform. I'm just going to add a few of these shapes in. Let's add five in. I'll click OK. Now if we were to expand this with object expand appearance, exactly what we don't want to happen is happening. Let's undo that. We know that we've got a problem. So with this shape selected, I'll go to the appearance panel. Inside the appearance panel, we can change the stroke. So I'll open up the stroke panel here, set the stroke to align to the center. It moves so the shape is going to change a little bit. That might be of concern to you. You would need to address that. And then when we go to expand the appearance, we're left with a series of circles rather than a series of compound paths. I hope that this video has helped you to understand some of the vagaries of Illustrator. This was certainly highly unexpected. I found it out at a very inconvenient time because I had this sort of thing happen that I did not want to happen. There seems to be very little information about this on the internet. So if you're struggling with the appearance panel in Illustrator, hopefully this is going to help you resolve what's going on. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.